Hey, what's going on, YT? It's your girl, LB. And I know you like, she looking gray gray. I'm just gonna stick it in here. I did my eyebrows today, but they're not on fleek. Okay, because the only way to get your eyebrows to really, really look good is, it is itching. Golly. The only way to get your eyebrows to look good is to make sure they are freshly groomed. Keep your eyebrows groomed all the time. Even if you are growing your eyebrows out, you know the general area where you want to grow the, grow the hair and you know where there's not going to be any hair. So keep those groomed, keep them clipped. Mine grow very long and then they start to curl. So you need to keep them trimmed at all times, okay? So I'm struggling with my eyebrows. They look awkward, but who really cares though? Not me. You feel me? But anyway, this is what I wanted to come on here and do, okay? It's so dirty. I have the BH Cosmetic Foundation and Concealer 10 Color Palette, okay? And I've never really used this, okay? But I need to start trying out things, stop getting into routines so that I will know how to use things, I'll know how they work, I'll know what, what works better than what. So, if I can get it open. What the? Goodness, does it have a child lock on it? Okay. Um, and this is what it looked like. You can see I've dibbled and dabbled in it, of course. Okay. So I'm going to try to correct and conceal underneath my eyes. Now, to correct normally underneath my eyes, I use my Bobbi Brown corrector. And this is in the color of Dark Bisque. Okay. And this I got matched when I went to, where did I go to? I don't think it was Sephora, I think I went to Ulta. And I just went in there and I was like, look, I need a corrector, um, help me correct my under eye circles. And this is the color she gave me, okay? So there is like a pinkish undertone to it. And I'm gonna try to look at this and match it to one of these the best I can. These don't really have pink undertones. They have orange undertones. But, hmm. So I'm gonna use, okay. It's not gonna match perfectly. Like I said, the undertone is different. I don't feel, I feel like this has like a pink salmon-y undertone. I really do. I do not feel like it has an orange. Mm-mm, it's definitely pink, okay? So I have to pick one that's close to it, I don't know, but that maybe has an orange undertone. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. It, of course, is not spot on, but um, I'm sorry, this little mirror. I might have to go with that one because I feel like that's the closest to it, you know. And if it come out ratchet, it just come out ratchet. So what? Okay, that's why we got makeup removers. Okay, and I think everything else is just a little too dark. So, since that has an orange undertone to it, and I know that orange is a corrector, I'm gonna roll out with that. I'm gonna take my um, this is a F70 um conceal. Is it F70? I think that says F70 concealer brush from Sigma. All the paint has come off of it, so I don't even know. And I'm just going to take some of that and see what happens when I start to put this on my face. I got a little mirror right here. So I'm gonna try to look in the mirror. Let me push it back a little bit. Hopefully it's not a frame, okay? All right, I feel like I lost a lot of the product. So I'm about to go put some more on. So what do you guys think so far? I think I'm correcting, okay. Um, I can see a difference. I hope you guys can see the difference. And I always come over here to the corner of my eyes because I have like a little depression over there. All right, so. Hmm. 
I guess we can wait for that to dry. Okay, so I let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna attempt to blend this in again with my finger. Now that it's dried up a little bit so that I don't lose a lot of the product. Or maybe I was just going too hard. Maybe I was knocking myself out in the eye. So, and they always say to use this finger because it has the least amount of pressure. I think so. They're always doing weird things on Facebook and YouTube and all kind of things with this finger. <coughs> As if this finger is kind of like the, I don't want to say the R word, kind of like the, the stead child finger of the hand. Okay, so, I don't know. I think there is a little difference, but I'm not really seeing what's going on. Okay. On the other side, I'm about to use my Bobbi Brown corrector because I really want to compare Bobbi Brown. See how light it is? See how that like brightens it up a little bit? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know, I don't know. All right, now I'm about to use the concealer and I said to use the concealer that's close to your skin complexion. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here because I've already put this one on my face. Hold up. And that is the one that's for my complexion. But they said it's a, I don't even know if that's the concealer or not. I don't know what's going on in this palette. Like, could you please label this? All right, so I'm gonna try that one over the place where I put my um, correct out on this side. I'm going the other side. I'm just gonna let that sit. Okay, so I let both of them sit underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna take my finger, let me wipe my finger off. Okay, and I'm about to blend this in. All right, here we go. Um. Well, let's keep in mind, I was trying to conceal, not highlight, okay? There is a difference. You use concealer to highlight, but you use concealer that is a shade or two lighter than your actual concealer in order to get the brightening effect under your eyes. Now, if you're just trying to conceal underneath your eyes, then you're trying to use a concealer that is close, if not perfect, to your skin tone, okay? You wanna use the concealer, well, you wanna use the concealer that is your skin tone. So that's what I was trying to do to get rid of these under eye circle. Do you guys think it worked? I guess I was looking for something a little bit more full coverage, but I didn't get that here. I probably won't use this as a concealer. I will try it as a foundation soon though. I think the orange colors in there would be good for correcting under eye circles for women of darker complexions though. So I wanna thank you for tuning in on this little experiment with me, YT. And until next time, it's your girl LB. Peace.